Hey, welcome back. This is Jeremy with Noria for another unboxing video. So what we've got with us here today is the Sitgo Sitguard 700, 700. Yeah, uh, we've got the 10W30 and 10W30 over here. We've got, this one is the CK4. So this one's designed for both road vehicles and heavy duty off-road equipment. And then if you've got a fleet of vehicles that's only road vehicles, you might see this right here is the API FA4. This is specifically designed for the newer vehicles out there, 2017 and newer. It's like to help you get better efficiency out of those vehicles. So something you'll notice with both of these is contrary to what we used to use back on the farm, like a, a 25W50, these are lower viscosity grade fluids, right? The 10W30s here. We used to only use these in like the, the pickups that we were kind of running to town in. It's like, well, with these synthetic blends that both of these happen to be, you're getting a much superior base oil inside of there, you know, and you've got some of that mineral oil inside there as well that really helps with that additive solvency, keeping everything, uh, you know, kind of floating around those systems. So you get a lot better protection even at lower viscosity grades. And what that really translates into is better fuel efficiency. You know, for, for your equipment that's in the field, this is gonna be, you know, a little bit more robust, but if all you've got is, is equipment that's running on the roads out there, something like the MFE or the maximum fuel efficiency version, it's like that's gonna get you a whole lot better return on your fuel efficiency and your oil changes out there. And the great part about both of these being synthetics is the, the synthetics used in these oils have a natural detergency to them. So part of, part of what you're getting when you get a synthetic blend is going to be a, a detergency that's gonna be scrubbing those internal components on those engines. You're gonna be cleaning up any carbon deposits inside there. Uh, you've got additives in there that are going to help you know, maintain your soot inside of there, keep that nice and low, keep them good and dispersed and you're really gonna end up with a lot cleaner engine, a lot fewer issues with, let's say, your, uh, your uh, diesel particulate filter. You know, probably gonna use a, a little bit less def or that diesel exhaust fluid. I remember when I was a kid, that whole phrase was a joke. We'd send someone to the store and be like, yeah, pick up some exhaust fluid. Didn't exist back then, all right? It's like, but the, the really neat thing is, is if you start looking at some of these fluids and how they perform, and what you see, take a look at these images here. You can see a direct comparison between that, that uh, Sitgard 700 and the competition, right? That MFE really makes a huge difference in what we're seeing inside those engines. Okay, for me, I always translate everything to back when I was on the farm or on the harvest crew, right? It's like, so I ran some numbers on what better fuel efficiency might mean for that equipment. Okay, we ran 12 combines at our largest on our harvest crew, right? It's like, well, 12 combines, full harvest season, you got summer harvest, you got winter harvest, right? Or fall harvest. It's like, let's, let's just go with five months as an easy round number here. Okay, average combine is going through 176 gallons of diesel fuel a day. 12 machines, that's a lot of fuel. We're looking at 2,112 gallons a day on diesel fuel, right? It's like, and they're saying with these formulations that we can get you know, up to a 3% reduction in fuel consumption on this. So over 2,000 gallons a day on fuel, 3% reduction, that is 63 gallons less, okay? Now, that is every day. On a good harvest season, you're not shutting down. Like, so you're going through that much fuel every day for five months, so you start adding this stuff up. You start looking at, a, at the numbers as far as, you know, how much are we saving over the entire harvest season? You're talking about almost 9,000 gallons of diesel fuel saved. At today's prices, it's like that's over $32,000 just in the fuel going into those combines. The really nice part about this is that Sitgo believes in these numbers so much that they have a, a no risk guarantee on a one, at least a 1.5% reduction in fuel consumption. If you head to their website, they've got a little drop down in there, it'll tell you all about that guarantee. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so we've covered most of the equipment here, but what about if we've got like a mixed fuel fleet? It's like, well, Sitgo went the next step and we don't just have the Sitguard 700 or the, the 700 MFE, we've got the Sitgo 800, okay? And this stuff is actually designed to be used in 
liquid natural gas, compressed natural gas, gasoline engines, diesel engines, pretty much everything out there, right? It meets that same CK4 standard and the SN standard when it comes to gasoline engines. It's like, so if you've got old service trucks out there that are gassers, if you've got new service trucks that are diesels, if you've got old, you know, LNG vehicles out there that your granddad used to drive around, this is still going to meet the standards for those. So what does that mean for lubricants on hand? It's like, well, rather than having, you know, three, four, five different types of oils that we have to keep on hand just for engines, it's like we can just use the one that we have to keep on hand. It's like that is a, a lot lower risk of cross-contamination, a lot fewer issues that you're going to have when it actually comes into putting this stuff into use. All right. And the, the really neat thing, even this one, you know, you're looking at the lower viscosity grades for these. And the, the great part is, is we all wonder, well, what does that lower viscosity grade translate to in engine wear? Like, well, if you compare, you know, in the oil analysis reports, how this actually looks, you like to get a, a nice linear trend when it comes to like, let's take an iron, for example. We typically see that as a wear metal inside of our oil analysis for an engine oil. It's like, well, we've got a nice linear trend when it comes to the, the nice thicker film or the, the higher viscosity fluids like that, you know, 25W50. Well, with the new formulations that we have today, it's like you can look at the, the, the same oil analysis reports for these lower viscosity fluids and you're seeing that same trend. So you're not getting those spikes that you would expect to see. It's, it really is modern miracles of chemistry out there that are helping us get better life, better wear, better efficiency out of these engines. So if you've got any more questions about lubrication or anything like that, check us out, Noria, right? We've got links down in, this, in the description. If you've got questions about the, the Sitgo products themselves, head on over to their website. They've got a lot of good information out there for you to go by. It's like, thanks again for showing up for another unboxing video. See you next time.